Sean, sure. what's this here, Sean? What's in what? the 2010 Swanee River cook-off, John Kerrigan and team are going with the poached egg in an orange. And we are about to see how this thing is going to work. Okay, this is where the in ingenious Sean, is. Sean is trying with the uh, aluminum foil versus the balancing on the uh, over the fire. So Fantastic. Take at, let's take a look at Sean. I think that's going to work. Ah, uh, I bet his is done. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it's done. It's coming. <laughs> I bet his is done. I hope we can put in salt and pepper. <laughs> oh no, the orange is still wet. Okay. See if, it, see if it's cooked. Ooh. It is! Ooh. Hey! It's cooked! John's really nice. Nice job, Sean. I like that. That, that, one. Like that looks good. Now, now you need to eat it. <laughs> All right. That's great. Out of the fire. Just put it in over there. Oh, here's the box. And the egg. Mm. Like, uh, it's it's excellent. No, it really truly is excellent. John, wonderful idea. This is excellent. Mm. We cut the orange, install John's idea, cut the orange, about three quarters, take the top off, eat the orange, that way we have the orange juice, put the egg in. John cooked his over the fire. John and I put the orange inside the aluminum and I put the top cover back on here as you can see. But, oh, I put the egg in and then we put the thing on and put it in the, the fire. It, it absolutely tastes excellent. No kidding around at all. Gonna put salt and pepper on it, Sean? No? Nope. Ron, how's it taste? Excellent. Like I huh. said before, everything out in the world <laughs> tastes no okay. Yep. And here's, uh, here's all this to the ingenious of John, our Kerrigan, our Emerald Chef here. And he's, with his now, he's doing something unique. What, what are you doing, John? You know what's amazing, Like a John? bacon. Ah. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, it actually tastes more like an orange. And Dundee here <laughs> really? finishing up our bite? coffee. No, I'll wait for that. And I might as well finish this film here. Where we are, this is by beautiful big shoals. Unbelievable. It's just going through. We're not going to run these rapids which are class three uh, but this is beautiful I don't know if I can get a good close-up of it for you see the rapids going through you can probably hear the rapids here okay. here's a campsite so we can get a beautiful campsite John had a little problem with his tent the first time experiment and John likes to experiment with this stuff and that's what's so fantastic with John on all these trips. He's always coming up with something different to try and uh, it works out great. This land is your land. This land is my land. What do you think, Sean? You think we should run it? of all the, the all the stuff in there coming in all the drop it's about a three four foot drop and all the rocks and then you come through and you'd hit this right here but so i wouldn't take that part i go on the other side go now you you it looks like there's a tree in the middle of yeah but in the middle there's an over rock there's no, no, it no, no, i'm saying go down the right and then get to the middle way to the right side right go to the right side and then cut over and come down the middle and you could go down. You could do that. That would be a decent run. You could almost do that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try that. Doesn't make sense. So how was it today, John? It was super fantastic. Is it? What you like about it? I like the sereneness of being in the uh, wilderness. It is fantastic beautiful area. Nice different area. The whole trees, uh, you know, the uh, ecology with a different type of trees, the uh, cypress trees and Two palms, and we saw a small alligator. I think we saw an eagle, and might have been an otter. A bunch of vultures. Vultures. The yep. cranes. Cranes. We met two fellows, and then we met two people from the Florida yep. Conservation Commission. So we enjoyed that, and they showed us how they checked uh, stock fish by sharking them.
We now are at our campsite. Taking the boats down. I, I might as well just get in it and go then. Downstream so we could uh, load the boats in a better position. We were concerned about bringing the boats over on this rough um, limestone. It was really rough and we were afraid it was going to break the scratch up the bottom of the kayak. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you can't, that's it. Lean down, get the, get the nose out and lean downstream. Here we go, it'll take you right around. It'll take you right around. Good job, good job. It, that's okay, lean downstream. Good job, so if, if you can't come in, just keep on going, okay? Nice job, Sean.